fix my camera I don't this vertical aspect of it is something I don't like so I try to do it on the other way around it's not working so maybe after this life I'll just try and fix it so today live video is just on cutting it's going to be on cutting um, out our interfacing I'm going to be using leather synthetic leather for this so there's a bag I'm making I've done that bag before I've uploaded the bag but this one is going to be different in the sense that um, this one is going to be featured the flap of this particular one is going to be featuring um, woven mat woven Ankara mat something like this okay if you check my youtube channel you're going to find out that i've done something similar to this so it's the flap is going to be something like this that the difference is that it's going to be this part of it is going to be a woven mat so you make sure you watch this particular video i'm going to be breeding or uploading because you're going to use the opportunity to learn how to wove is it wove how to weave uh, ankara like this all right and also it's also going to be feature um a back pocket um, in this particular one i'm going to be putting a back pocket on it so make sure you wash it i'm filming it already so um i'm just going to be cutting out the interfacing i've cut out the pattern i've drafted it it's on my video when i upload it you are going to see it so i'm just going to be drafting out the um cutting out the pattern so the second point the next thing after cutting out the pattern for this bag after cutting out the interfacing rather uh, the next thing is going to be um i'm going to be teaching you how to fix eye length on bag as a beginner i'm going to take it step by step how you can do it we are not going to rush for today's live stream okay and the third point we are just going to tell you types of um, types of thread that you can buy in other countries not in nigeria the types of thread you can get to buy in other countries okay because i kind of find out that the names we cause of setting back items or terms here in nigeria is quite different from the name other country call like i don't know if you understand so it's kind of confusing let me give you an instance when you call marco for instance and you use that particular marco name to brass for it you won't see it online i think in other places on, on aliexpress amazon online shop instead of marco you call it eva foam and instead of carry body you call it cellular board these are terms that are peculiar to us here in nigeria so i'm just going to be telling you different types of um thread that we have and the, the name that you are going to see online in case you want to browse it and get them to buy in other countries because i know it's not just nigeria people that are watching me i know other countries i know i have indians watching me usa uk mali there are all lot of countries that are watching me that watch my youtube channel so i um, i'm not going to be specifying everything i'm doing based on nigeria alone so these are what we are going to be doing here today i'm just going to cut out this bag um the interfacing i just told you guys i'll be uploading this video it's going to be fine though. it's going to be fine you guys will use your opportunity this is a thing i wanted to use it as an online course sales like i wanted to sell the course best because i love you guys i'm just going to teach you people okay so it's going to be i'm going to specify it on how to wave a mat a mat like something like you're going to be i'm going to teach you how to make a woven ankara mat like i don't know if you can see it for the flap and the back too is going to have a pocket at the back so you make sure you watch that video by this week it will be dropped in part of it it's going to be part two part one of it is going to be dropped this week i don't want the video to be long so i'm going to bring it as part one and two so part one of it will drop probably on thursday okay because the filming will stop on wednesday they will have to upload it on thursday and so uh let's just cut out this thing because i'll still have to go and film cut out the stabilizer so this for the main panel i'm just going to cut it out two of it two of it guys make sure you turn the notification bell on so you can watch this particular video i'm going to be uploading so use your opportunity to learn how to make this very very important guys it's kind of trading it's trading now if you are conversant with ankara bank you know that people are making 
bags with like they just wave it and bring out a particular design this is ready so i'm going to be teaching you guys how you can get this particular pattern so make sure you watch that video to be dropping on thursday by the grace of god <laughs> by the grace of god so i'm just going to cut out the patterns um is it pattern now I've, these are the templates already i'm just going to be cutting out the stabilizers then after cutting this out we are going to be doing other things I'll teach you guys oh my god this barrel don't disappoint me it's, it's not writing okay let me use my marker so this is the silver pen i was talking about it's cleanable so you can use your chalk so i'm just going to cut out two of these so if you are in usa you are in uk watching me uh, i found out that um, there are different types of thread that you can use for your bags okay there are the nylon thread and the polyester thread there are other ones too okay but the nylon thread and the polyester thread are the two main strong threads that you should buy when you want to make a study bags this will make your bag very very um lasting and durable because you wouldn't want to make a bag then after you've used it for a short while it starts cutting you understand because when you use a thread that is not strong to sew your bag it can easily cut like you know how it is and start losing and it can more embarrass you mean probably taking the bag out and you <laughs> tend to just lift it up it will just cut just because the thread you use to sew such a bag is not strong so make sure especially when you're making your work you're doing a professional bag for a customer you want to do something that will make your customers to come back to you and patronize your main focus okay so you don't just do it to make money no you don't do it to make money there is this saying that if you want to make it in business in business you have to be more of a giver first you give value before you start reaping the benefits like you just have to do something that is beneficial like to your clients and customer first so if you, when you are making a bag make sure the bags that you are making are something that your customers are going to give value from so you should not just consider the monetary aspects alone okay so what i'm doing i'm just cutting out the stabilizer for the bag i'm going to be uploading all right i'm coming i don't want to remove my table is kind of oh you don't want to remove this thing um this uh interfacing it's a light interfacing i have to just lay it on a table so this also is used for bag it's an interface it's a light one we are going to be using it for this mat too so i actually got it i got it we are going to be using it for this mat too so so as i was saying i'm trying to cut out the main panel so uh when i upload it you're going to get the measurements i don't want to start discussing that now because i'm going to have a video on it so i'm just going to as i'm cutting it out we just discuss some certain aspects of bag making so uh, i tried to bend my phone the other way around it's not working so this always vertical aspect of it i really don't like it but i think after this live stream i'll see what i can do so as i was saying there are two types of threads not two there are lots of threads type so the main ones that are very good that you should use for your bag making are the nylon thread and the polyester thread the poly let me see the name i wrote out the name <laughs> i'm not going let me not tell you the wrong thing the polyester yes star thread p-o-l-y-e-s p-o-l-y-e-s-t-e-s -E -E so polyester or nylon nylon thread n-y-l-o-n so you brass for this kind of thread they are always very strong for bag making and they are lasting too so i know there are different kind of thread that are up to five types so but this is the ones i will recommend for you guys this is the one i will recommend my phone please i don't like the I'm just trying to see if you guys can see what i'm doing 
Okay, my ring light wants to fall, not today. Okay, just trying to cut out the stabilizers for the bag. So most of the time when I call when I use the temp stabilizer. It also implies interfacing, bag interfacing, or bag stiffener. So why I call it stabilizer is because of the work it does. It kind of grants your bag or gives your bag support and makes it rigid. So that is, I feel that's why I use the temp stabilizer all the time. Okay. So don't be confused when I use stabilizer to imply interfacing. So I'm still cutting out the bag, um, the main panel for this bag. So I'm just going to cut now. So just mark around it and I'll cut I'm trying to cut if you're a beginner make sure you stay on my life so I'm just taking pace you see the work what I'm doing live I'm not editing I'm not doing anything to alter the way I do it at home so that's why you should be on my live stream so just make sure you cut on the line Of them cut out this for the main panel so the next thing I'm going to be cutting out now is the side panel so as I said earlier okay as I said earlier um, I am uploading this video by next week Thursday so I'm just I'm not going to explain the details so just watch the way I'm cutting out this interfacing for the bag and I'm using synthetic leather for the stiffener or interfacing this is the side panel okay so i want the sides to be like this so i just do two videos on how to make a bag with this type of side then after this particular video and one other one we are going to be doing a video on a bag with a different type of side panel that I've never done before. So that would be, I'm going to be doing, we're going to be trying different designs on this platform on my YouTube channel. So always make sure you subscribe and turn your notification bell on so you don't miss out of this new idea. So I'll need two of them actually. Okay, so I'm going to cut that another two, another one rather. I'm just going to mark, okay, mark it out. I have two of them marked out. I'm just going to cut now. So what I'm 
something i'm trying to just cut a bit of this out so that it'll be easy for me to work with the interfacing is kind of big so i just cut a part out let's note i'm using a synthetic leather for the interfacing um you can use a marco i'm sure i've showed you what a marco look like if you want a very stiff work you use this my colleagues most of my colleagues use this i if you have been following me up i've explained the reason why i've not been using dates because it's hard and i'm using a flat bed man chain don't worry i've made a video or podcast and an article on it, different types of man chains so you're going to see the difference okay so i'm using a flat bed man chain if i if i was using a cylinder bed man chain which is tubular tubular like it's like a tube and it's long and you can it can sew uh, sharp corners i would have been able to so use sticks to make my bags okay because using this make your bag a, a lot more professional that's what i find out i think that's what my colleagues use it and secondly it just gives it that kind of professional um shape on bags but it's if you are using a very simple domestic machine you are using a machine that is not silly that you are going to find it a bit difficult to sew the, the side i know most people even people that are already very good in bag making most of their challenges is side i've seen somebody that is very very good very very good on instagram it's a colleague of mine can she, she ships about two two hundred bags abroad like she's extremely good sometimes she does complain about sewing size of bag so it's not peculiar to the upcoming bag makers alone so sewing bags side is something that's a bit challenging so if you now want to start sewing with your flat bed machine and you're using a very hard stuff like this my dear you're going to be making it a bit complicated for your own self so that's why most time i just restrict myself to using dates First of all, um, this also has its own advantages. Okay, I think this uh, it's more durable when you when compared to this because when it rains on this, for instance, it can it will still stay the way it is. But imagine rains fall on this severely, it's going to it's going to like I don't know, it won't be as lasting as this. So whatever you make with this, so me that's my own personal opinions. <laughs> that's my own personal. It will be as lasting as what you're going to make make out of um this. So you are allowed to still use um this board, carry uh, cellulose board. Some people call it fiber board. Uh, in Nigeria, I know most people know it as um carry board. All right, and this Marco too. This Marco too. So you can manco to is a bit flexible. You can also use manco, but in this case, I'm just using a synthetic leather. Okay, and these two of it. So I've cut out two main panels. So I'm just going to cut out the sides. I've measured out two sides, the side for the bag, the two of them. You now we are going to be needing two. A bit of music. Hope oh, I'm not giving a copyright. A copyright claim or whatever it is for your me. The Bluetooth device is ready to tell. The radio mode up. Thank you. 
So this is side of the bag. This is size of the bag. So the main panels have been cut out. So the next is going to be cutting out the bottom panel. a bit out so I'll be able to work it into well. the bottom panel just cut on the line I advise you to use a sharper scissors Scissors have plenty scissors. They are they are they are not very blunt. And one thing about it, you see those people that sharpen knives. You can always give your scissors to them to sharpen them instead of buying new scissors all the time that your scissors are blunt. Just give it to those people that sharpen knife. Let them sharpen all your scissors for you. the bottom two side pan two main panels two side panels so now the last thing is going to be the flap Last thing is going to be the flap. I will still making something similar to this. Um, not really the last thing actually. We are still going to make a pocket, a back pocket. Okay, I've not done something like this before. So that's why that is the main reason you have to watch this particular video. I'm going to be uploading on Thursday. So this is the back pocket, and this is the part of the flap. It's going to come on it like this. 
okay so i'm just going to cut this out and this So um this particular one for this ah, sorry guys for the noise so this particular one for this let me show you guys something okay so I actually curve the edges out on this on all of the sharp corners because I wouldn't want our machine to interfere with it but how we are sewing okay and this is the last part i'm going to be cutting out i'll just place it and just measure it out so we can cut them out together So when you are measuring out, when you get to the cuff, the cuff part, make sure you follow that shape. So you get a perfect work. I'm just going to cut out. Try and get my scissors. So I'll just cut a part out. So it will not be difficult for you to work with. Cut more out from the entire big part of the interfacing. Remember in this case I'm using the synthetic leather, leather board as the interface. It's, it's leather. So when people keep asking what kind of leather, you can see, you can use this for a bag, right? The different yoga it adds. So this is the back side and this is the right side. So it's leather. Got this flexibility. That's why I like using it. So there's nothing new about it and you can get it anyway i actually got this from my local from the local market in my area so when cutting make sure you cut on a line contrasting so it's going to be at the back of the bag that like this bag is going to be fine so i'm uploading it on thursday guys i'm so excited <laughs> it's going to be fine so we are just trying to cut out the stabilizer here on life so this is not the main the main video is going to be coming out on thursday make sure you turn on your notification bell so you don't miss it too on the line where I'm cutting I don't know why the beginners if you are a beginner why are you not here please come and see what exactly this is what I do I'm doing it live 
there's no editing anywhere so why are you not here to watch guys please when you are watching my life please watch it to almost half okay don't just come just watch a bit and just go away you are killing the watch time please I so um so guys um cut out virtually everything remaining the moving remaining the matte parts we're going to be doing this one separately so i'm i'll I will, on that video you will see how I'm going to be um, getting this out to mat or wave Ankara into a mat okay so of course are the main panels the side panel the bottom this part this part of the flap is also part of the flap okay um, this bag I I'm going to cut out the stabilizers now. Okay, I'm going to cut out the stabilizer because you can't just wrap it like to be very thin. So you can use a stabilizer that's like two layer on top of it, so that the entire layer for a body is like theory. If you feel it's too thick, you can use twisted of theory. So just to make it a bit rigid and stiff. Um, before we cut out the stabilizer, let me cut out the lining first. So I'm using a black suede for the lining. Okay, so I'm going to be using the wrong side. So I uh, just for the main panel, I'm just going to lay the dicks on top and. Cut out the lining. So there's something I want you to take note of here, yeah, guys. For this, so cut out the lining. This suede is thick enough. You are allowed to just you are allowed to place your main panel on top of this and just trace around and cut. But in this case, for the lining, I'm going to be folding the top like this so that the raw edges will be hidden but it's optional you can if you don't want to fold you can just trace around it and cut around it but just the top i'm going to be folding i'm not folding all around so i'll just leave like half an inch which i'm going to hide ball okay so this is what i'm going to do i'll leave like this xx here then i will cut the part you can see the other part i did not leave any excess except from the top because i want to fold right so i'm using a silver pen the one that is cleanable all right um i'm i'm going to you know i'm we are using we are cutting out two main panels so i'm just going to cut out the second one i'll do the same thing okay so i'm going to leave space in between like half an inch because we are folding the top
Cutting out the lining, so just make sure you cut on the line. Just remove this thing. <laughs> I just want it to be fine and it's just disturbing me no part then I wish you remove it. for you to cut the line in excess because uh, one thing I noticed is that by the time you wrap this Ankara with any fabric you want to use it becomes a bit bigger than the way it is now okay so if the line is if you measure the line exactly with this as a form of template for measurement and when you now wrap it you place the lining on it you find that the lining is now smaller than it is so it's better you just cut it excess so if you've already wrapped your main panel, the external, you can use it as a form of measurement to get your lining. But if you have not wrapped it, I would advise you to get your lining to cut your lining excess in excess rather. So I'm going to cut mine in excess. bottom parts of the bag so I'll cut it out first cut out this again i want to cut i'll use the other one that i've cut out for something else i want to cut this as in i want to cut it in excess
hope you guys understand what I'm doing. Remember, I cut out part or I've, I've cut out lining for the main panel before. But um, the lining I cut out was exactly I used the this as a template to cut out the lining, which might be smaller by the time I wrapped the esterna. Remember, um, one thing you should know that once you've wrapped the esterna, it becomes a bit bigger by something like 0.1 or 0.2 it becomes a bit bigger by the time you wrap it with fabric and if you are going to be using this for now to cut out the lining and by the time you wrap this and you now place the lining on top it might become the lining might become a bit smaller than it is so you can only you can only do that after you've wrapped the main panel and you cannot use that main panel after wrapping to cut out your lining i don't know if i'm making sense at all so the first part i explained i just remember that it might not work so i had to cut out another one for the two main panels so i'm going to be cutting them a bit excess okay a bit excess so that by the time we wrap and this one is bigger the lining might the lining will fit on the main panel so that's what i'm doing guys so don't be confused So cut out two linings for the main panels. These are the two linings. So and we cut out for the bottom panel. Okay, we cut out for the bot bottom panel. I'm just going to cut out for the side panels two. But we are going to need two side panels. So I'm still going to leave excess around them.
So I'm going to be using, I'm going to be cutting out two for this because I'm going to use six for the external pockets and as well as for the interior pockets. Okay. So, um, so I'll leave XX because we are going to be folding it in. Amazing performances from Pepsi Music Ambassadors, Bremer and Ira Star on the 16th at the Maven All Stars concert. On the 17th, Pepsi Ambassador DJ. So I'm just cutting in excess, guys. So don't be confused. I'm cutting in excess. Hope you understand. Like I don't want to cut exactly for the lining, exactly the same with the external. So that by the time we are put, by the time we place the um, lining on top of the external, it will be smaller than. So it will not be smaller than the external body. So I'm just trying to use my my sense. Like I don't know if you get like. You know, once you've wrapped the external, once you've wrapped it with Ankara, it becomes a bit bigger. I just want you guys to know. So it becomes a bit bigger. If you are using the same template for the external to measure the lining, you might go, you might get it wrong. Okay, you might get it wrong. Because once you wrapped it with Ankara, it's going to be a bigger, it's going to be bigger than the lining. So you just have to use your sense to figure out the the size of lining that can fit on the external so that's what i'm doing i'm trying to cut it in excess so that even if it's bigger you can trim off rather than it be smaller and you have to record and in that process you'll be wasting your material fabric So I intentionally cut the lining bigger. Okay, better that way. Better that way. You can only stream off, guys. So if you cut it smaller, it might have some issues. So it's better you cut it a bit um, excess. So you don't, you don't have to cut your lining to be as big as this in order to waste your material. You can just cut it a bit excess, okay? And make sure you cut it in excess. So I'm just going to cut the interior lining out for the interior pockets. The lining for the interior pockets. Which is going to be the last thing for this cut out interfacing bond out. So for the interior pockets, you know I'm not going to be wrapping, I'm not going to be using um, interfacing for the interior pocket, so I don't need it to be in excess. I just use this uh, mesh this as an exact measurement for the inside pocket.
try to see if it's too small. Okay, I think it's okay. Interior pockets. All right, guys. We are basically done with almost everything. Like basically done with the hot house for today. So by eight o'clock today, if you are a beginner on my life on my YouTube, if you have subscribed and you are a beginner, I'm going to be showing you step by step. No rush, no edited part on how you can fix your eyelids, how you can remove your this part of the eyelid called um, dies. It's called dies. It comes in different sizes actually. All right, it comes in different sizes. Okay, you know there are some eyelids that are very big. When you are making a, a bag handle, I don't know if you have seen some bag handles that have um, big eyelids that the handle can just go through. You buy a bigger die. Okay, the die is D E D I G I E, I think that is spelling. So there are smaller ones. These things are quite expensive. I think it's like about this one is about 2200. So the time I bought it in Nigeria currency, which is equivalent to about three dollars. Okay, so in Nigeria it comes in different. So I'm going to be teaching you as a beginner on how to fix highlights. We are not going to rush. So guys, there's something I still want to do. If you want to join my life, you want me to let me know if you want to join my life so we can talk, you can tell me your challenges. Let me know so I can always invite you as a guest on my life. So on this one, today by 8 p.m., we are going to be learning how to fix eye length, okay? And it's going to be a step-by-step. -step. Please make sure you write your questions out. Ask me whatever questions you want to ask. Okay, so do not forget by eight o'clock today, we are going to be. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to fix highlights. Okay, and how to when you get it, how do you install it on this? Okay, and if you want me to give you a number on where, if you stay in Korodu, I have a customer where you can get this highlight. And if you want me to give you a uh, details on the price, you let me know. So just write your question out on highlights. We are going to be fixing highlights. And also, I'm going to be talking about the types of um, thread. So, as I said early on this stream, I talked about two types of thread that you should always look out for: the polyester thread and the nylon thread. They are very, very strong, especially when you live in the diaspora. Okay, if you live in the diaspora, you can browse it. Polyester thread and nylon thread they are very, very strong. So you, you shouldn't go out and buy a thread that you use for your bag until you just snapped off. So you always use a strong thread. So we're also going to be talking about needle. So there's the organ needle, there's the orange needle, there's the violin needle. These are the three types of needle you should look out for. If you live in the diaspora, like the USA, the UK, all right. If you live in Nigeria, you should look for. I think most of the needle they say in Nigeria just orange and violin for now. But there is the orange. I've seen the orange on Ali on Amazon. I've seen the orange and the violin too on Amazon. I've seen the organ O R O G A N on Amazon. So it ranges from sizes of needle actually ranges from as less as like the sizes ranges from 12 12 to 28. Yes, it ranges from 12 to 28. But if you are using a domestic uh, man chain, a domestic man chain, a that normal black head man chain, okay, you should use 23. For my industrial man chain, I have an industrial man chain, most time I use 25. I use 25. But if you use a 25 man uh, needle on your domestic home man chain, it will not work. It won't enter the hole, okay? It won't enter the hole of your man chain. So the only, the only one that can fit and can sew plenty layers of fabric is size 23 so if you live in the u.s you live in the uk look for the organ o-r-o-g-a-n organ needle and go for size 23 
go for size 23 and you should go for a nylon or polyester thread there are different thread go and go don't go and buy some brand of threads that will just be cutting but these two threads that i've just mentioned the polyester thread and nylon thread they are very very strong you also have them in nigeria yeah and in Nigeria, you can get size theory of that thread. Very, very good. I've showed you, if you, if you are in my live stream yesterday, I showed you my, the ones I got. I would did a shot where I went to the local shop and I was trying to film the thread. Please watch all my videos, right? You're going to gain something from it. Like, I'm giving out my best. I'm not holding anything back. These are like courses that I can sell and make money from, but I'm not holding. I wonder why people are not over watching like this thing. Sometimes I don't feel, I like, I feel sad for you. Like, these are things that you can gain from. Like, I'm just giving, time will come. I will start holding back because I don't want to value what I'm giving anyway. I will start all the so now I'm just generously giving out. I wonder why people are not watching. If it's data, forget about data. You have to invest. By the time you start making the money, you will think of data again. So try and watch those videos. I'm, if you are not holding back anything. So I did shots where I went to the local shop. I was trying to film the trade. So this is how it looks like. Okay. This is how it looks like. This one is twine and uh it's twine twine rope okay if i had gone to mush maybe i have seen the polyester thread but this this one is also going to work but it comes in different quality uh, quality okay so this one is working i had one like that it's working but always look out for the polyester polyester is p-o-l-y-e-s-t-e-r or polyester thread or the nylon normal like nylon n-i-l-o-n nylon thread so those threads are always very very strong so because there are some interruption manches that are still very very light so this size theory you can see it's very very strong or like the normal tailor manchin that can cut so that's why you should use this for your bags it's bag you know it's, you only use it for load so don't go and do something for your customer that will not last the customer will not come to you <laughs> so i'm trying to combine what we are doing with the business aspect it's not just about learning the talent let me off this radio it's like it's interrupting with what i'm saying it's interrupting. I have to off it. So don't go and buy, don't go and make bag just because of money. Please, you people should not do anything for money. Don't do everything for money. It's not money, it's not all about money. We have to give the value first. You have to give the value before the money will start coming. If you are just pursuing money, time will come that these people will know that you are being selfish and they will start running away from you. So try and give value in everything you do. If you are going to be giving back, make sure you are giving, like giving your customer value. If you are making back, make sure that they are buying that, but they are going to be gaining from the bag. It's going to be useful. It's going to be durable. It has different compartments that can use. And what they are buying is commensurate, it's equal to the money they are paying. So that's why you should use high quality things for your bags. Personally, I'm not satisfied with the hardwares they sell in Nigeria in Mushi Market. I've gone around trying to see if I can get good hardwares. See, for instance, this kind of chain that you buy, though it's very cheap, you get like a this like 500 naira for a yard. And these things are like once it's over a year, it starts fading. I've gone around in Musha, as big as Mushi Market is in Lagos. I've not seen any original. This, you know, some people sell it online and very, very expensive. But that's why that's what I propped me when I started shopping online. That's what would push me to knowing AliExpress. I've bought things from AliExpress, I've bought from Alibaba, I've bought from Amazon before. Yes, I've bought from those places. And I haven't bought from Okay, I bought from Amazon, AliExpress, eBay, not Alibaba. I'm thinking of buying on Alibaba because I'm trying to do a course on how you can ship those things from Ali. So I really want to buy good quality things. And these are some of the things I'm going to be teaching you guys. Once I am able to get this idea, I'm going to be giving you guys how you can buy things, valuable things in a cheaper rate from abroad and use for your bags so that when people buy it, you can't go attach much value to it and people will like their products so like sometimes i'm not satisfied with what i see in motion markets at all because most of it is so they will say they are going to meet some some of their vendors like why don't you have this kind of stuff they are like if they buy it now people will underprice it they will undervalue it they won't buy it and i say there are some people who still value these things 
So that is it. So for now, you can buy what you have or you can buy, but just make sure that uh, you are giving out the value that your customer requires. They will be happy for uh, with you and they will tend to refer people to you. That is business. So it's you giving value first before we thinking of what you are going to gain. All right. So always have that mindset. Have that mindset, whatever you are doing, have that mentality that you have to give that value first. Don't always be thinking of your own personal gain. All right, so you are making bag, make sure you make a bag with a strong thread. I'm going to use a tailoring thread. It's a bag, it's not cloth. You, you know the things, most of you put heavy loads on bag. Cloth, you don't put load and you just wear it like that. Like. But when you put heavy load and somebody carries it, about paying much money for such a bag and the bag just got torn. How will you feel if you are in that person's position? So you look for industrial machine thread. Don't go and be sewing bag with tailoring thread, please. Hmm? So, so the least you can get for a domestic machine, the least you can get uh, is size three. Please don't buy size one, no. Don't buy size one. Size one is you can see it can still cut easily. You can see this size three, right? So this size three. So try uh, try comes in different sizes. In which you can have size six. I have size six. So it comes in size six. It comes in size eight and uh, nine rather. It comes in size nine. I don't know. This this okay. This size six. This size six. You can see the thickness of this. It's not like it's thicker than this. So it comes in size six. It comes in size nine. So most uh, shoemakers like using size six, size nine, depending on what they are doing. All right. So you buy size three. Make sure you get size three for your machine because you are not using. I in my. Uh, two lion machine. I've used size six before it works. I've used size nine, it works. But if you are using a black head machine, guys, take note. My room is very rough. Though I'm going to turn, <laughs> I'm going to turn my camera now. So you see my machine. You know, I told you guys that I'm taking break, and in my auntie's house, it's kind of rough, right? So this is um, here's the need the machine I use. The same thing as a black head machine, and the name is Zuki. This is a whole brand machine, a whole fashion machine. So even if you want to get this kind of machine, you haven't gotten money for industrial machine, please go tell the person selling the machine that you want a machine that can sew thick and plenty layer of fabric. I remember when I got that machine, the new one, like a butterfly new machine, as at that time, about four years ago, to have been sold for 15,000 era Nigeria currency. But you see those ones that are equivalent to the same new butterfly, the same thing, the same uh, the same build and everything. I bought this one for 30 something because I would not wonder that maybe those ones are old fashioned, they are supposed to be cheaper. And the woman said no. But I'm grateful I got this machine. This machine, I've been using it like over five years, and I've been using it also thick, thick, hard bags. Imagine this simple machine going like it's acting though. <laughs> I was trying to practice inside. With this match so that's why it's looking like this so see you can sew around with this simple matching so i want to you should know I, I know i keep on repeating myself if you've gotten a matching if you want to get something like this you haven't gotten money for an industrial matching first of all miss the right people wherever you are going i uh, first of all I advise you do not browse the price of matching online it's like double the amount they are selling matching do not be browsing how much is a matching for instance, a machine, this machine that you can get for 30, so you can keep seeing all them online for 17,000, 18,000. No, don't even buy anything online. Secondly, make your research. The best people to ask questions are your machine technicians, your machine engineers. Ask them, they know much more about machines. Then thirdly, go to vendors who are into machine. Tell them that this is the purpose of the machine what you want to use it for tell them that you want to use it for leather and you want to be sewing thick leathers they will give you different matches with different functions if you are buying a domestic machine they are going to give you machines that are old-fashioned though those old-fashioned machines they are very very strong okay if you are a tailor they are likely going to give you a machine that are new brand those kind of matches that are like cigar but that are not strong Okay, so if you tell them you want to use for leather and layers of leather, they are going to give you strong machines that are old fashioned. So make your research, contact your machine engineers, your machine repairers, your machine technician, find out 
from them and ha tell them whether you are going to be buying the machine for let them know the purpose you are going to be using that machine for so once you've got see that machine you are going to be conf you are going to configure that machine all right if you buy that machine you also call your machine repairer tell the machine repairer that you should configure it in 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 such a way that you'll be able to use it to sew leather material so they are going to work on it so you'll be able to sew your leather material so um in my subsequent live streaming i'm going to be explaining different types of machine i'm trying to do a a a blog a mini article i'm trying to do a podcast an audio explanation on the different machines that you have especially if you want to kind of take your passion which is bag making if you are into bag making and you have passion for bag making or you have you have been doing it as an hobby you want to kind of transgress like you want to kind of upgrade to a professional bag maker I'll, i'm going to take the machines industrial machines that you you should go for i'm going to be listing the difference between the three machines the three main machines are uh, the flat bed machine the cylinder bed working foot machine and the post bed machine so make sure you tune in to my live stream by eight o'clock let's discuss how to use dix as a beginner to fix your island all right i think i've spoken enough how is your day going are you preparing for christmas and i pray that um this christmas and beyond this year 2022 which is going to be 2023 it will be a blessed year for us it will be a year of uh, favor a year of peace a year of happiness for all of us in jesus name so i'm just going to edit this live now so do not forget by 8 o'clock 8 p.m to be specific i'm going to come live to explain how you can fix your how you can install your high lens on your bags okay so this is a die i'm just i used it i'm just going to fix it back so it comes like this so as i said it comes in different sizes so i used it so just to use it as an explanation for you guys so i'm just going to fix it in All right All right so you guys please so if you are watching don't release run like people will just come go come go you are killing my watch time it's better people don't go watch at i'm sorry bro. and hence someone just came and it she went off again so please don't keep why don't you just watch to half of the video before going <laughs> i don't want to talk so much all right all right and make sure you Stay tuned by eight o'clock. Come to my life. Let's discuss. And if you want me to, you, um, if you want to be my guest on my life, please let me know. Send your send a link, send a message, DM DM me, send a direct message to me so we can discuss and people can gain from us. We can also gain from people as well. All right. Bye. I love you to the moon and to the back for your support. Thank you for watching.